contact form 7 integration with reCAPTCHA. Now this is a sample site, it has no reCAPTCHA keys configured, so I'll take you step by step and show you what this is all about. When we press on configure keys, contact form 7 is asking us site key and secret key. Now where in the world do we get these from? We get this from Google reCAPTCHA. So let's press on this link, get reCAPTCHA. Let's press on that link as well. And we're now logged in to our Google account so we can generate the secret key and the site key. We can give the, you know, we need to register a new site because we haven't generated keys before. We need to register it by giving a label to it and your domain name would go in there. Now, what if you manage two different domains? If that's the case and you want to use the same reCAPTCHA API keys, then you would place your another domain name on the second line. So that's what the registration process is all about. But if you just manage one domain, then you simply give the domain URL here and then simply press on register. Now, once you do that, you're going to register your API keys and to use it with contact form 7, all you need is these keys here. So once you press on this tab, you'll have a unique site key and also unique secret key. Now, these are very important that you keep private, as in don't just share these with other people unless you trust those now once you got the site key and secret key all you then have to do is copy the site key and keep it perhaps you know keep a copy of it but keep in mind this will always be available in the Google reCAPTCHA admin interface so let's also copy the secret key let's copy it and let's place it here and we can also save the file locally to keep it private so now back to our contact form integration with reCAPTCHA we would then place our site key here simply paste that in there because yours will be unique and your secret key for your domain would then be placed in there all you then have to do is save. Once that is saved, now for you to be able to use this on your contact form, this is what you need to do. Going back to any contact form that you generated, or you can add a new one as you now know, let's work on this one still. Let's press on edit that contact form and let's just above the send button let's press on recapture option here let's press on that it's saying okay do you want the light theme or dark theme depending on your theme colors size normal once again you can modify the id attribute and class attribute to style it further let's insert that tag and finally let's hit save changes now going back to our sample page we can now view the sample contact form and the page that we've been working on and voila we've just added our recapture option to better secure our forms from spam and that's what contact form 7 integration with recapture is all about